to church. Mm -hmm. But the things they do behind the curtains, mm -hmm. how was. I grew up in a place whereby I don't want to sound superstitious, mm -hmm. but witchcraft really mm -hmm. <laughs> exists in that uh, village because mm -hmm. uh, it was too much. Mm -hmm. And uh, me saying too much, I will not say that uh, other people have not faced or others, I don't know, but I faced it and I've seen it. Mm -hmm. And it was too much for our family because uh, it created some violence. Not even some, a lot of violence in our family mm -hmm. to an extent that uh, we had to quit. We had to run for our lives. So that's the village I grew up in. Mm -hmm. Then being the firstborn now, uh, from now that family has separated, I had to take responsibilities of helping uh, my parent mm -hmm. to take care of my siblings. Mm -hmm. So that means I had to do a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of labor work mm -hmm. for me to make it in mm -hmm. college, where everywhere. It was not easy. And I think that's why, you know, you manage to do all these things all together. Yeah, I think that's why, because I'm that girl who is like, if I can get something from here, mm -hmm. let me do it. And then uh, I'm that go-getter, because, mm -hmm. you know, when you're growing up, mm -hmm. you have those things, you're like, I want, when I grow up, I want to be like this and that. Okay. So I still never forgot my dreams, although I've not achieved them, but I'm doing well. All right. Great. Uh, so exactly at what point did this musical journey begin? And before the musical journey, did the flight attendant, the flight service come first mm -hmm. or the music came first? All right. Uh, my music, I'll say f as for as long as uh, I've known myself, I'm that girl who sings. And I don't sing because I've heard someone singing a song. Mm -hmm. Most of the times I sing because there's something new in me which I'm singing. Of which that by then I was very small, I was very young. Mm -hmm. I could not tell it was a gift. Because out of nowhere, maybe I'm facing a challenge or a situation, I could find myself singing. But if I go like ask for the song, nobody has heard the song. Mm -hmm. So during the challenging times, I could sing. Mm -hmm. And music has been part of my journey mm -hmm. throughout Sunday school, throughout primary school. Mm -hmm. Although primary school, I was those drama girls. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Then we went to high school. Mm -hmm. High school, I formed a group mm -hmm. of three girls, mm -hmm. which was called Jerusalem Voices. Mm -hmm. I was the chair. We used to perform a lot. And then uh, after that, now I came back to the real life, mm -hmm. just doing performance on my own, because that's what strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then uh, my flight attendant career, that was my dream job. Eh? You know, when you are growing, when you are very young. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, by the way. Yeah. I really wanted to be a flight attendant, mm -hmm. but life happened. So, uh, sorry, but you're still young. You yes. can still go for really? it. Really? Yes. Okay. I thought they take, uh, I think, don't you know, worry. My don't worry. And I'm, I'm, I'm peeping 30 like this. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. All right. I'll, I'll guide you on okay. that. Eh? All right. Thank so, you. first of all, I had to go for a career, mm -hmm. which I never wanted. Mm -hmm because my parents could not afford to take me to university, mm -hmm. although I was qualified. Mm -hmm. So I did a P1 mm -hmm. in Kakamega. Mm -hmm. Then I started teaching. I've never uh -huh. applied for a government position because in my heart, that mm -hmm. was not my job. Because mm -hmm. I was that girl, I want to be in health mm -hmm. But now my dream was unattainable because everyone was like, ah, you want to go to the airport? Have you ever seen anyone going there? <laughs> <laughs> so it reached a point, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, these guys make sense because from where I come from, I've never seen anyone going abroad. Mm -hmm. I've never had anyone going to the airport. Mm -hmm. And most of the people there, maybe they are pastors, teachers, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of uh, yeah. village. Yeah? Yeah. And the rest now they are <laughs> mega guys. Anyway. I'm sorry to say that. Mm -hmm. So now I went to college, I finished. I started doing my teaching, but still my dream was ringing in my head. But remember, I had responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I had to take care of my brothers, they are five. So I must help in school fees, feeding them house rent and the rest. Mm -hmm. So it happened during my teaching time. I transferred to a school, a group of schools. I was a teacher there. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, I, get con I, get, uh, I got connections. Mm -hmm. And um, just God, br anyway, God brings destiny helpers in this life. Let me tell sure. you something. Sure. Even when uh, dreams seem so impossible, mm -hmm. somewhere in God's diary, he knows what you want. Mm -hmm. And if you pursue it, he surely does deliver. Mm -hmm. So I got connected. 
I got my way through, uh, through to Kenya Airways Pride Center. Mm -hmm. I trained as a health test. Mm -hmm. But things now again turned to, be, to the worst because now after the graduation, it was that time Kenya Airways was going down. Mm -hmm. So we were not employed. So you can imagine now in the society, wherever you were teaching in a big school, mm -hmm. and here you are now a flight attendant who is not working. Yes. And you know in Kenya we don't have a lot of airlines. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to Dubai. I went to Dubai, looked for greener pastures, but the jobs which I was getting, I couldn't do. Because I was getting waitresses, front office management, mm -hmm. I don't know what. But my dream was like, I want to be an hostess. So I came back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then God helped me, and I came back. The company got me in. Finally. Finally. Yeah, Even, uh, finally. Mm -hmm. I tell you, <laughs> it was those days whereby you could just sleep like in your uniform. Then you're like, oh my God, it's going to crazy. You remove. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So it was a real tough journey. journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thank God for the far. He has taken us until Corona came. Mm -hmm. So again, it came and killed our dreams. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I'm positive mm -hmm. because. Uh, Everything happens for a reason sure. and for a season. Mm -hmm. That's when, um, during the corona time, I've had my, my songs written. I have more than 30 songs. Wow. Yes. But I'd, I'd never had that um, courage to go to the studio mm -hmm. because, number one, I knew it's about money. Mm -hmm. So where was I going to get the money from? Then I had promised God something. If I'm ever going to work as an hairstylist, my first salary, I'm going to devote to the studio. Wow. But when I got the job, I forgot. <laughs> you, you, you snatched everything. <laughs> Not really. Mm -hmm. The responsibilities were growing. Oh, Remember before, yeah, my brothers are in mm -hmm. high school. Yes. They are going to college. Mm -hmm. It's a all on me, you know, like it's not easy. Mm -hmm. So that time by May, God spoke to me. Mm -hmm. He was like, I want you to look for a studio and you do so a song for me. Then I'm like, God, where do I start from? He was like, remember mm -hmm. the promise you made to me. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, that night I never slept. I went around asking friends, talking to them until I got a studio. So that week I got to the studio and I did my first song, Tanzama. Tanzama. Yes. What does that mean? Tazama. Tazama, it's like a, a song I was singing mm -hmm. to cry for help from God. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a song I sang during those moments. Eh? Sometimes, um, due to violence, we could spend our nights mm -hmm. in the farm or by the riverbeds. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, so I remember that day we were sleeping by the, by the farm. Eh? Mm -hmm. And I was like holding the, the, young, the last born. He was very young. He was less than a year old. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the rest were sleeping there. So we used to carry like a blanket or something to cover ourselves. Mm -hmm. Then I saw a snake creeping no over way. them. Yes. Yo, that's... Yes. Hey? Yeah. That's so the number one thing I feel in life. <laughs> yes. After Satan, it's that thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, the only thing I could do, because it's late at night, then we are hiding. If they cry... It's going to hear you. Exactly. So this man called my father is going to slaughter us. So now I was like, God, at this, uh, this situation now, the mm -hmm. only thing I can do is close my eyes mm -hmm. and whatever happens, let it happen. Mm -hmm. Because if I wake these, uh, these boys up, you know, yeah. and it was not just a snake, it was a big snake. It's like a cobra. So I just closed my eyes and this song came. Mm -hmm. Tazama. Tazama baba twanyenyeke twatarajia Tenda jambo, panguza yesu, machozi yetu, tupera hatu kuhabudu. By the time <laughs> I was you up, up everyone was intact. There was nothing. There was no harm to my brothers. <sighs> and uh, yeah, that happened. But it took me forever now to mm -hmm. come and sing the song because those were was back in the years 2000. Mm -hmm. So that's me. <laughs> that's how far mm -hmm. I've come. Mm -hmm. Then from there, after I did now the Tazama song, unfortunately now in uh, July, that's when now Corona hit the company so hard and those of us who are not permanent were laid off. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you it was not an easy thing because 
getting a message that a call that tomorrow you're supposed to be in the office and don't understand. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you attend, others have told you everyone is going home. And then you're like, wait, what's up? What's going on here? Corona. Mm -hmm. So I remember we, are, uh, we had a group, we assembled in my house, and people were crying. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you for free, I never cried. So they were like, ah, Evelyn, you are so blessed. What led you to the studio to sing a song which you never knew was going to affect, uh, which you never knew it was going to come in, t uh, like in hand with the, the season? Mm -hmm. We played that song more than 10 times. Wow. But guys were crying. Mm -hmm. you know, and I'm like, no, no, there's hope. Mm -hmm. Because it's everywhere. Corona is everywhere. It has affected every other industry. It's mm -hmm. not in, only in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So there's still hope. So I thanked God because uh, I was able to instill some hope. Mm -hmm. to people mm -hmm. because them assembling in my house it was not just we were not discussed about it we just got there and they were like no no Evelyn, let's go to your house you want to cry and then i'm like oh guys okay, <laughs> come on just come, come yeah come over you know I'm so uh, yes fine. i'm that uh, i am that mature mm -hmm. so after that now it became again challenging now because you know going to studio again is about money true so i i did my second song Buembwe. Mm -hmm. Buembwe is a song i love Initially, I never used to know what it was all about mm -hmm. because uh, I've had an experience of which sometimes it's hard for people to believe. Eh? But during that experience, I was able to transition from life to l after life, mm -hmm. if you understand what I mean. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, during that journey of me, me being brought back from heaven and back to heart, the angels sang Boembo. Mm -hmm. But I never took like, uh, a lot of interest in it. Eh? Until now, after that, now I was told it's time to do Mbwembwe. And I'm like, but this Mbwembwe was sung by angels. Mm -hmm. How do I tell people <laughs> angels sang this thing? Mm -hmm. I was like, no, just go to the studio and do Mbwembwe. So I did Mbwembwe. Then now, now my third song, mm -hmm. it's birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, mm -hmm. it was on my birthday in November mm -hmm. 22nd. Mm -hmm. So I celebrated my birthday as I did a song. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's uh, wow, my journey for me, so far. It sounds like, you know, going through hell, death, resurrection, and celebration of life. Exactly. Now, my question to you is, mm -hmm. how, how do you renew your energy after all these challenges? Because if it was me, I, mean, I think I'd have, and I believe this is another challenge that young people are going through. Yeah. I believe I'm not alone. Yeah. That, you know, you face a challenge today, tomorrow, the next day. I mean, the next day after tomorrow, and you feel like you're not enough. You feel like you don't belong here, or there's some forces against you, or, you know, like you are not meant yeah. to experience the good life, you know? So I, I want to know, how do you renew your energy? How do you, where do you get that strength from, you know, to wake up and say, I'm going to do it. Nengia Studio, and I'm going to do this song. Exactly, that's the same question every person asks me, because uh, it, reaches that point, it reaches that point in life whereby you are like, why was, not, was I not born like others? You know, yeah. you see people doing well in life, Children who never suffer or never struggle in this life to achieve anything. If they want to go to university, they'll go. If they want to go abroad, they will go. If they want to go to any college, they will mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. But here you are with responsibilities at your age to a, to, a, to a point that maybe you have to forsake yourself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you forget you exist because you're like, okay, I have this 20,000. Mm -hmm. But there are people who need to eat. There are people who need school fees. It's not enough. Where yes. do I start? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to take loans. And if you ask someone, I'm taking a loan, for other family members, they're like, wait, not for yourself? Mm. Everyone cannot understand. It reaches a point that whereby they're, they're, you have nothing, you have nothing, and they have nothing. Mm -hmm. And nobody can understand, you have nothing. Mm. So I'll not lie to you that uh, I've not had uh, suicidal thoughts. I've had it, not it, them. Mm -hmm. I've tried taking my own life, like almost three to four times. But uh, I thank God, every time I failed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I used to fail terribly. Because I remember there was a time life was very challenging in Rongai. I'd just gotten a job and lost it. And uh, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in that middle or whatever, I decided to go to the quarry and end it. And I'm this girl who wants to be very smart even when uh, I'm dying. Eh? Mm -hmm. So I put on my makeup, my good dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I left. Mm. Um, and when I go to the quarry, 
I just met a very young boy. I don't know where he came from. And then he was like, hey, what are you doing here? Then I'm like, hey, who are you? Then he was like, the way to your home is this one. Go back. So I started going back. So afterwards, I realized what really happened. Because I forgot what you <laughs> the to agenda do. which mm -hmm. took me to the quarry. So the next time, I also tried the same. But uh, in the midst, I had uh, people singing in the church. So wow. a spirit told me, you know what? Mm -hmm. Just get in, sing with them, and leave. Mm -hmm. And then I got into the church. It was a Mabati church. And uh, we sang. And uh, <laughs> the pastor was like, you come over. So mm -hmm. he was praying for people. Mm -hmm. Then he was like, why all the tears? You know me, I'm looking at him like, wait, which tears? Mm -hmm. I've cried enough. Eh? Mm -hmm. So he was like, God has heard your prayers. You know, it just happened miraculously, by the way. Until now, I had to pray against that spirit mm -hmm. and tell God never to let me to reach that situation mm -hmm. whereby I'm supposed to take my life. And I'll tell you for free, from that time, henceforth, I've never thought again mm -hmm. about uh, taking my own life. Mm -hmm. And as you have asked me, my inspiration, my brothers mm -hmm. are my inspiration. Mm -hmm. Because every time negative thoughts come into my mind, I usually remember them. Mm -hmm. Most of the young ones, I'm like, if I die today, or if I get married to somebody who is not responsible today, what happens to them? Mm -hmm. They're going to miss it in life. Mm -hmm. Then what happens next? They're going to be poor. Then after that, mm -hmm. they're going to be desperate. Yeah. So my brothers are my inspiration in everything I do. I'll not lie to you. My brothers are my inspiration. Of course, you're the only girl. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm the only girl. And they love me a lot. Mm -hmm. And they look up to me. I'm like their mentor. Oh. Yeah, because they've grown knowing me like almost I'm a parent. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, even in class, I tell people, oh, my kids, my kids. People think I have kids. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a small bro. I don't have any of my own, but I have that, I, I've, I've gotten that responsibility to a point, point that they think mm -hmm. I'm taking care of my kids. Mm -hmm. But really, I'm only taking care of others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, from what I see, you mm -hmm. are a giver, not a taker. Exactly. Okay. Um, uh, you've pointed out something that mm -hmm. it took me a very long time to realize. Mm -hmm. And I realized this, you know, in my spiritual journey, mm -hmm. that the the present moment is very important yeah what you hear that young boy you saw that butterfly you see passing yeah is normally a message exactly that leaves you know uh swerving and the wind the sound of the wind the sound of the rain it's normally a message it, yeah. and it's up to us to interpret exactly how how do young people you know according to you how how can young people go back to that spiritual connection what advice would you give young people you know if they want to reconnect with god and necessarily because young people don't want to go to church one yeah i know yeah <laughs> so i mean how how do young people reconnect with god okay first of all i'd like to say this eh? going to church does not make you a christian mm -hmm. rather what you do is what makes you a christian mm -hmm. Uh, because I'll tell you for free, I'm not that girl who goes to church every Sunday. I'm not that girl who like does all the Christian stuff every mm -hmm. night mm -hmm. or every day. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between uh, knowing God and wanting to please God. The secret is knowing God. Mm -hmm. What connection do you have with God? When you are alone, what, what can you talk with God? Mm -hmm. What relationship do you have with God? Can you sit alone and tell God, let us have a meeting? And do <laughs> you, you program things one by one? You know, okay, I know. I, I've reached that uh, maturity in spirit world whereby I tell God, you know what? We are, we are sitting down right now. Okay? You have told me to do a song. I don't have money. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that I do it. Mm -hmm. And for sure, it will not fail me. Mm -hmm. Because there are people called destiny helpers. Mm -hmm. For sure, if you have that connection in the spirit realm, you operate in faith which like nobody can just uh, accept it mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so uh, when you have that connection with god you don't need to please anyone like oh my god my friend should know I, I went to church no you don't have to go to church but you must connect yourself mm -hmm. once you connect yourself now it's, it comes to your personal decision what is right for me mm -hmm. you get it it's like you know, we are saying like you go to give somebody like one thousand in the church and the rest eh? but your mother 
is dying of hunger. Mm. You have done something good, yes? But on the other hand, have you done well? Mm -hmm. You have not. So it's just common sense. Common sense will guide you to choose which is right and which is wrong. But sometimes the youth mostly, they tend to run away because they fear the, what can I call it? The intimidation sometimes in church. Because I remember there's a church I used to attend and I, I thought it was the best church for me. Yeah? Because I'm one girl who is attracted to praise and worship. I'm in that ministry, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's me. <laughs> so if there's no that power, like pulling down the Holy Spirit in the mm -hmm. church, mm -hmm. through worship and singing, I will not go to that church. So I went to this church and I was really like, oh, my spirit is here. I've rested now. Mm -hmm. And I happened to like apply for the choir and I went for the first auditions. I passed. The second auditions, I made it. But the problem came to the third audition. Mm -hmm. I was given a song by one of the biggest artists mm -hmm. to go and uh, mimic the voice mm -hmm. of that uh, artist. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I went and I tried. By the way, I'm not like, I tried. So I went for the third audition. And when I was singing, uh, this choir master was interrupted by some very smart looking lady. Mm -hmm. He forgot what we were doing. Mm -hmm. So when now, when, when now he came back to his senses, it was like, oh, by the way, Evelyn, if you sing like that, you're going to shame me in, the f in front of the pastor. So I looked at him and I'm like, wait, what did you just say? You're singing and performing p for the pastor? Like, as in like, in church, as in like, is it real? Mm -hmm. He's like, oh yeah, I told him, okay, thank you, thank you, please. Thank you for nothing. Mm -hmm. But you see, this God who has called me, I'll never mimic anyone's voice. I will use my voice to mm -hmm. sing for that God. Mm -hmm. People shall mimic my voice, but not me. And thirdly, thank you for nothing. But that God shall surely punish you. I don't want to mention names, but he, d he really did punish him. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, I w it, was, uh, it was not something I'm proud of, but I'm happy mm -hmm. he saw the God mm -hmm. I, I worship. Mm -hmm. So that made me like, you know, that spirit, that morale of going to church. Yeah. It got finished. Mm -hmm. And thank God it was during those times now and I was told, no, it's the time now to go to the studio. Mm -hmm. So just connect yourself with God in the right way. Uh, don't uh, like uh, focus yourself in pleasing people. And I'll tell you for free, if there are people who are free-spirited and people who can help you, there are people outside the church. True. The people outside the church I've interacted with are the people who have helped me much in this life. Mm -hmm. There are people who can tell them, you, are not, you don't have anything to eat, and for sure they'll do something. But in the church, most of them, they'll tell you to pray. Mm. And then they'll go behind you and say, hey, you know this girl who dresses like this? She, imagine, she didn't have food for today, you know? Mm. But people outside the world, those people will help you genuinely, because that's them. So, and they've been inside your shoes. Before. Exactly. That's why even today, if I go to a club, I might go to a club. It's not necessarily I drink. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you for free, I won't meet, miss someone to minister. Yes. People are stressed. People are depressed. Mm -hmm. People are suffering. But they don't have people to share with. Mm -hmm. They lack that listening here, whereby someone can understand my situ situation. Mm -hmm. Someone can understand I can go for nights without food. How many people have gone? You know, anyway, it's not easy. Yes. So by the end of the day, I'll tell the youth, don't keep quiet. Don't die in silence. And um, I'm also coming up with a program. Mm -hmm. It's called. Oh, yes. yes. You have a program, a project that you've been working on. Exactly. And, and you're helping, you're, sp you're spreading hope. Yes. And helping people realize. Yes. Results. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Spring Ziba with Cool Eva. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to, like, uh, to kickstart uh, this, uh, this month, mm -hmm. of which I'm also going to share my whole story about now the death and resurrection because I never finished it. Mm -hmm. And I want to reach out to people. Not because um, I want to like bring them in the limelight, mm -hmm. but because I want them to come out from that. Mm -hmm. I want them to brace whatever happened. It has happened, all right? Then I want them to brace, mm -hmm. as in like, now let me get ready mm -hmm. to come out from this thing. And then they spring back to life. Okay. So that's spring why it is Ziba. spring Ziba. Ziba meaning? 
forget that what happened uh -huh. yes oh Come, ziba, like, yes yes ziba it's kabisa. gone okay. it's past there's uh -huh. nothing you can do about it okay so yeah. spring up alafu ziba. yes nice exactly okay. so Great. once you mm -hmm. block that mm -hmm. you come up mm -hmm. and uh, you, you be a new creature mm -hmm. spring back to life mm -hmm. as in like appreciate yourself again mm -hmm. for who you are mm -hmm. the scars you have everything you have it's you mm -hmm. what can you make from that i think that's a very nice project yes. to you know work on and to even give back to the community exactly because well, i'll tell you men especially the boy child is suffering in fact the young people are suffering yeah. and ideally the woman is also suffering exactly. so in general the society the is, society crying. is suffering is yeah. crying but there's no one to listen to them mm -hmm. uh and you know, some people think helping someone is mm -hmm. giving them money. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Helping someone is listening to them. True. There are people with hidden tears. You know, sometimes like we assume men don't cry. Mm -hmm. It's not that because they don't have tears. It's that because we mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But no. they do have tears. Mm -hmm. It's only that they don't know how to bring them forth. Mm -hmm. They're also vulnerable to whatever situation ladies go through. Okay. So um, I want to reach out to those people. Mm -hmm and um, be of help to someone mm -hmm. yeah maybe in a given time maybe i'll be a good will abasen who knows <laughs> amen amen, amen yeah. to that yeah. from your mouth to yes. god's ears amen now uh one a few okay few last words okay to that young woman young girl who's watching you and would like to join the ministry lakini anogopa way the people have seen there you know those black sheep Mm -hmm. those people who pretend you know i know so how wh what's your advice to that young woman who wants to come to the ministry to come back to the ministry uh, my advice is gather your stuff prepare yourself well mm -hmm. call god organize everything stand up mm -hmm. hit the studios and let everything run it's not easy but I know with God, everything is possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you'll be forced to behave like others because you're in Kenya or because you're an artist. Mm -hmm. But please don't. Know your calling. But if you're there for, for entertainment, for leisure, mm -hmm. it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, some people, you know, it's industry. Mm -hmm. But if you're there for ministry, just know it is not easy. But whatever God has installed in you shall surely manifest. The start is always very hard and very mm -hmm. tough. Mm -hmm. But we don't look at the foundation sometimes eh? because the foundation has all the stuff which like holds the, uh, the whole building together. Mm -hmm. So focus on the future. Mm -hmm. If this is a calling I have, if this is a ministry I have, that means God has a purpose for me for this. So let me do it. So please get out from your comfort zone. That comfort zone is the one which has delayed me, but it's not because of that. God's time is the best. Come mm -hmm. a God at go to the studio. Please don't just wake up and go. Mm -hmm. You're going to get disappointed because mm -hmm. getting two subscribers is very hard. <laughs> <laughs> True, true. I tell you. <laughs> to buy a cover. Exactly. Subscribers were really in yes. Imagitolea. Imagitolea, you've spent money, money you've sent. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Don't go there with the mentality of getting money immediately because there's no money. Even mm -hmm. I myself, I have not get, gotten a cent from it. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to achieve that. But I know the God who has called me shall reach out to the people, subscribe, follow me, and mm -hmm. then my ministry shall grow. Okay. To the point that I'm releasing my song without uh, wondering who's going to listen to them. All right. Yeah. So um, I'd like to know where do we find you on social media? Cool Eva? Oh, yes. Cool Eva Instagram. on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Cool Eva Facebook. Mm -hmm. Then Cool Eva 254 mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. It is presented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool Eva 254 on Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. and TikTok. Although TikTok as well. Ooh. Yeah, although okay. I'm not that uh, <laughs> active. active. Eh? <laughs> yeah, but I'm there. At least there I have more than a thousand subscribers mm -hmm. <laughs> or followers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, tomorrow is my birthday. Woo! Yes. Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> I have a song I should sing for you. <laughs> yes, tomorrow is my birthday. Happy and, birthday in advance. Um, I'm requesting you. You, oh, yeah. you, you at least perform for us. I'll do that. Happy birthday. So, where, where's the cake? Well, I come tomorrow. Um, well, this is Nairobi and I this know. is January. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> but I'll be telling you details of where I'll be celebrating all right, all right. at the end of the show. All right. Yes, it's but I'll pleasure. be visiting some deaf kids up all prestige. Just wow. Somewhere. Yeah. That's a good, good ministry. Just have this Thank for you. that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and God uh, bless you for that. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank That's you. a ministry which is not easy for everyone. Mm -hmm. That one is more much better than even going to church every Sunday. True. God sees that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not saying people should not go to church. Eh? Yeah. So don't, don't no, quote no, me no, anyway. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Well, exactly. No, but good deeds mm -hmm. behind the cameras mm -hmm. and behind the scenes mm -hmm. matter a lot All to right. God. Great. Yes. So happy birthday to oh, yes. me so and happy to every January baby <laughs> out there. <laughs> Great. And happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank so at so least much. I can perform for you the happy birthday song. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Stage is yours. So All right. I want you to introduce the name of the song. Okay. And yeah, who produced it? Na hiyo yote. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so the name is Happy Birthday by Kuleva. Uh, audio done by Gamba Studios and video done by Fidelis Mutiso. So be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> 